My name is Danta, and I'm a Norwegian. I'm a neuroscientist, and I work at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology in Trondheim. So my name is uh, Sergej Nostovic, so I'm a computational neuroscientist at uh, Ecole Normale Supérieure in Paris. I'm a neuroanatomist, and my research field is the adrenal cortex. That's the part of the brain where the grid cells are found. So at Trondheim, I'm part of the Kavli Institute that does research on grid cells. And what I've been trying to figure out is how interneurons in circuits in the medial and lateral adrenal cortices are wired both into the local micro micro-networks and also with regards to long-range connections to the rest of the brain. So the goal of my research is to understand how thousands of neurons work together to produce computations that underlie behavior. I have two approaches. So one is to model uh, networks of neurons and to understand how dynamics implement uh, computations. So, so that's purely theoretical, computational. The other direction is uh, more data analysis. So I analyze uh, large um, neural recordings from behaving animals, uh, and that can be in a variety of areas. So for example, auditory, uh, primary auditory cortex or the prefrontal cortex. We're in the middle of this revolution in terms of techniques for, for, for neural recording and man manipulating uh, neural activity. So this course really gives an introduction to all these techniques that are emerging and that are developing at a very fast pace. So I'm grateful for the opportunity for students to come and play with uh, new tools for doing neuroscience. So a lot of different rigs have been built for the course so the students can really rotate through all sorts of different methods. Well, I think it's essential for students to attend this kind of courses. So first of all, first they discover all these techniques. It's very impressive uh, how many setups are here and how all well, the technology that is, that, is that is present. I think typically a student will not be exposed to all this technology at once. So, so that's, uh, that's one aspect of it. Another aspect, of course, is building a network, so interacting with other people, uh, discovering how other people think and what kind of questions they ask. I teach anatomy, so I brought anatomical samples here, and I'm also trying to help the students out with analyzing the anatomy of their in vivo data. So the ones that have been doing probe recordings, these sort of things, but staying the section so they can see if they're actually recording in the region of the brain, which they hope that they are. All these recording techniques uh, generate uh, huge amounts of data, so we have more and more data to, to deal with. And the question is how to analyze it, how to make sense of this data. Uh, what I presented are methods which I call population methods in which large populations of neurons are analyzed in the same time um, by conceptualizing them in terms of activity in a high dimensional space where every direction of that space is the activity of, of one neuron. It's so much fun to get to meet all of these interesting people and the students are great, the TAs are great, the lecturers are great, the organizers are great. It's just a really fun learning environment. I think it's very interactive. So we spend a lot of our days just talking to each other about science and that's super nice.